Hello, and welcome to Mr. Bunker's Gaming Bunker. Today we're going to be continuing with Wild Arms. Last time we were um, going about the inner sea, trying to do side quests, and so we have a giant's lost virtue and a giant's lost malice. And both of those have the word giant in them, so we're going to assume but they have something to do with that place called the Giant's Cradle that we found before. So now we are going to do our best to try to figure out where the Giant's Cradle is. I feel like it was around here, yeah? Yeah, this has got to be it. Oh yeah. Right, let's see if anybody needs some heal berries. So let's see. I feel like... I remember this place being, like, optional or something, but I may be wrong. Innocent Heart to the Sleeping Giant. So this one... Virtue? I guess that would be an Innocent Heart. Virtuous, right? Red Malice... Oh, wait. Was it just one piece of paper? The weather piece of paper? The innocent Heart. Yeah, so, okay. So both pieces, I guess, are considered the heart. So virtue and malice make up the heart. Hmm, interesting. Okay, this is... Alright, at least there's no treasures. Oh, uh, but there's multiple doors. Hey, look! There's some treasures. Let's get a quick save. Alright. This is the crib of eternal sleep. No one must interrupt it. Crest graph. Crestcraft. So I think that makes 19 that we have now. Where are they? Yeah, we have 19 Crestcrafts. So that's a good number. <laughs> I really just want to find that Advanced Magic Guild. I'm sure it exists. It's got to be somewhere. Because I know there's better magic than what I have available now. Oh, are they? Oh, they're actually in a group. Nice. So against these guys, since they're actually grouped up for once, we're going to use the... Rudy's new rocket launcher, and we'll use the Sonic Buster, because that's always good. And let's try just blast so that we can try to get an even distribution of uh, damage rather than the randomness of Valkyrie. Here we go. Although that was very varying amounts of damage. Hmm. I wonder if Rocket Launcher works in a weird way. It has to do with the distance from Rudy. So the ones closest to were the worst damage. I don't know. Ooh, so we got grappling stuff, but let's... Okay, nothing to hear there. We're gonna have to go over here, probably. Yeah, oh. I should have seen that coming. Those ledges are... Alright. Man. There we go. Making a fool of me game. Oh, wait. No, I still need to go over there. Just gotta do it in an angle. Okay. Don't play around spikes. That's the lesson. Look for hole. Oh, that's the wrong way. Hiya. There we go. Friggin' spike. The dungeons are great. Not only um, are they uh, kind of uh, tricky, oops, they are also like super fun and actually kind of test your skills and make sure you kind of know your tool. I really thought I'd be able to run past those, but whatever. I'm just going to take the damage and use my invincibility frames to get through. A little cheap maybe, but whatever. I got through. I really thought I could just run, but I got hit. Oh well. Lesson learned, lesson learned. All right, we are continuing to climb the giant's cradle, as it were. And it looks like we might need hand pan for this part. No? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, um, I get it. Can't fool me. All right, there we go. If we had pushed it the other way, it would have gotten stuck in a way that we couldn't have done anything about. Oh, I think it just got stuck in a way we can't do anything about. Hang on. Oh, come on, no. 
<laughs> All right. We may need a pocket watch, Cecilia. One pixel too many. That's not enough, is it? There, that's enough. Man. Okay, cool. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, a little trigger happy on the, the buttons there, but that's okay. I got it. Okay, so there is another button. And there are some spikes, as we saw. Ah, so we have new versions of critters, now they're imps. That's probably not too much of a difficulty. But let's see what happens when we analyze. Okay, 450, 12 MP, weak against holy, and I do have light blow. Just, just a light blow. And, uh... I don't think we'll need it, though. They don't have that much health. Okay. I'm not sure if we did anything out of order as far as, like, side quests or things we had access to with the ship. Everything seems... Oh, actually... There is one thing I kind of want to double-check again. Because there is one interaction I remember. So we got a toy hammer. So what does toy hammer do again? Forgetfulness? I guess we should keep an eye on uh, things doing status ailments around here. Oh boy. We need to run. Uh, oh. Oh, I see. If we get hit then by one and it's timed just right, you can get sent back by the next one and the next one. That's kind of fun. Potion berry, nice. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay. So, we're gonna not fall off there. Go right there. Okay, so it looks like this whole dungeon is just... Why is this place the giant's cradle and not Volcanon's trap when it's nothing but traps? I think that is a mistake. Fallers. Okay. Let's get another analyze, see what this thing's about. A faller is a level 27. 1200, no MP though, and weak against fire. Oh yeah, because it's a tree, that makes sense. Just go for a full round of attacks. They didn't have that much help. Alright, and back in. Ooh, okay. So we gotta throw a box at that. That's what we've learned in the past. And there's more spikes, more traps in this place that's not named after trap. Oh, there we go. There's an actual puzzle. I mean, ah, pathway, not puzzle. Go back down, please. Thank you. I just didn't... Ah, I want them up. Oh, wow. That's okay. I thought I got it, though. Maybe you have to not fall. I don't think it counts if you fall. I guess that makes sense. There we go. Woohoo! Man. Okay, so we got a box. We'll probably need that. And then we've got a bunch of spikes that will come out if we stop moving, but not if we continue moving. Okay, we're good. Yes, we are very good. Hello. Hey, cool. How'd you carry it? Those are quite useful. Ah. 
Oh yeah, I should be using Trickster on new things to see if I can, uh... Oh, these are not new things. These are things I fought earlier that have nothing. <laughs> Whatever. And we'll use Heal. I said this a little bit earlier, but Jack's Heal Blade is really friggin' useful, and I didn't realize it, I don't think, in my first couple of playthroughs, because I don't remember using it a lot, but he's the fastest character, and he has decent magic or sorcery, and he has a heal ability that also cures status, so he'll like always go first with it, and it does a decent amount, and it cures their status. It's, it's a very, very good ability. see if Rudy still does absolutely nothing with his summon. I feel like he will, because that just makes sense. Oh, doesn't matter. Uh <laughs> Alright, another item, another magic. Yes, good magic carry. Alright, I see you. I see you, Spears. Oh, why am I not? Oh, I can't be right up against it. We learned that earlier. Hmm. Oop. We got this. Oh, oh, oh. I saw those last second. <laughs> Not quickly enough. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oh, so that's the trick. They want you to drop the box, but I am not going to drop it. I think I need another one. I have a feeling I don't. This one was just there because they assumed you'd grab one and then have to drop it for the chest. But let's see. Oop, there we go. Oh, there we go. And look at that. Key change and everything. The Fort of the Gods is an invulnerable machine protected by a magic seal. This is where the lines blur between defense and offense. Oh, okay, I get it. This was definitely story stuff. I feel like I should just leave and come back. Oh well. Can it be? Another one sleeps in this desolate ruin. It's one of the eight powers from a thousand years ago. A weapon built by humans to fight the demon race. But what should we do now? We need to figure out how to operate this thing. I know it's an overwhelming feeling. So, the only useful thing this does is fight? Is that what you were trying to tell me? You're going to awaken it to fight? A sword is made for cutting and a spear for stabbing. Mercy is precious, but in the, being in, oh, but mercy can also be an indulgence in a world like ours. I'm sorry, but let's ask that strange professor. She seems okay. You mean Emma and Adelheid? Okay, good. It doesn't activate immediately. I still have dramatic music going, and um, a chance to use escape, I bet. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so there's one place I want to check out before actually going to Adlahide, unless it auto-does that. Please don't automatically do that, thank you. Okay, one place, let's see. I think it's directly, oh, not on the mainland. I think it's directly west and right here. I believe so. I wanna check in here because I can get a free heal, which is always nice. Okay. Saint Centaur. Assuming it's still empty, that means free heals. Sounds empty to me. I pair it. And as per usual, let's check on our little blind girlfriend. Or blind friend. You know what I'm saying. Been hiding in my house all this time. What happened to town? I 
kind of feel like there may be more. I know something I need to check on. Hang on. Let's see if I can find an eel pyramid. I think it's over here. Um, because there was... Baskar. Back in Baskar. There was that Wind of Zephyr or whatever. And I still don't know what that's all about. It could be I need to do something specific in the story. It could be that I need to um, have a certain amount of speed or response to, you know, be like the wind or whatever. Um, it could be that I need to defeat a certain number of enemies. Like, I feel like it... Oh, wait a second. I couldn't do this before. Here we go. Right? This is new. This is new. Now I have 21 crest graphs. Of all things. Okay. Alright, but this is good. We got some new stuff, so let's double back and see if there's more of those grapples. I think there might be, because I remember there being a second place with grapple spots. So let's go on our epic space ver journey off a uh, bouncy satellite that looks kind of like a ring pop in the sky. Okay, yep, this is the other one. Good, they kind of put them right next to each other. That's really nice. Or... Ooh, sunglasses. Memoir pen. And an angel quill. Let's see what we got. First we'll arrange it. We got... Forgetfulness. Bad omen and flash which i don't think i've ever seen happen to anybody i believe it's blind but flash is what it's called all right and another secret door and all sorts of goodies 22 number 22 of the crest graphs secret sign number six and more oh, this is just beautiful so I feel like Heel Blade is the obvious choice. Maybe I should hold off for now. Because really, MP hasn't been too difficult. When I really get down to the point where I need some sort of MP healing, I have it. So, so far, it hasn't been too big a deal. So let's see, where are we now? I don't think this is where we want to be, huh? Because we can get there with the ship, right? Oh boy. There's another one here. Let's see if this one leads to Baskar. So I'm going the wrong way. Right? Yes. Yes, because this is back. No, wait. Is this back near Baskar? No, Baskar is on the southern continent, right? It's got to be, because they're on an isolated continent all by themselves, right? So this is the wrong way. Okay, so now we got to find another pyramid around here, I guess. Right? Man. Okay. St. Centaur is there. Let's see if there's something up here. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty sure this is what we're looking for. Right. So this has got to be the right one, right? He says with confidence. <laughs> Okay, yes, yes. The Kaizen Fire. Okay, cool. We are going the right direction. Very nice. Alright, let's see. Is Zephyr really going to answer our plea? We need hope in order to survive this dying world. Zephyr does not answer. Mm, I'm a little stumped. Okay, so can't figure out the Zephyr thing. I was really hoping that would be something at this point. 
There's a symbol that looks like a clock. Okay. Now, do they all look the same? Probably all gonna say the same thing, but let's check them all out, just in case. And I've said this about um, other games, uh, but especially with uh, RPGs in, in general, I guess, but ones with random battles like this, I wish they took on the um, approach that Earthbound took, where once you're a high enough level or your stats are high enough, it just automatically finishes a battle as soon as you get into it, if it basically um, decides that you're too overpowered for the fight, and it ends the battle immediately and you get the experience and items that you would normally on, of course, a random chance, because that's all you know, determined by random chance anyway, the battle itself doesn't really matter. So they're all the same, huh? So it must be some certain order, and then something unlocks. That would make sense, especially for this game. So Baskar was a bust, Saint Centaur was a bust. Well, I mean, no, not completely. I did get items. I got another secret sign, bullet clip, and some more crest graphs. We will just continue on to Adlerhide. Oops. We will just continue on to Adlerhide, where we presume the story will uh, continue. So we need to talk to Professor Emma, but the thing that's really... Okay, the thing that's really driving me crazy is this. There's a slot to insert something. What is it? I feel like eventually this place gets some new stuff, but I could be wrong about that. Could be mistaken. Oop, wrong way. Oh, I want to talk to Tom the Repairman. There's a flower named... There is a flower named Sweet Candy. I heard the name was also used for a ship. So apparently there's a flower named Sweet Candy. That's cool. Thought it would be the end of the world when the monsters attacked. I feel much better now that all these repairs are going on. Oh, right. And we also gave money to the... The... the community board? The community chest? The development project. I've completed rares of the town. Eh, okay. So we still only done... Excuse me. Still only done cobblestones. That person's still missing. I feel like that was something that someone I could have saved and I missed, which really is unfortunate. We need more money to rebuild our once great. Yes. Thousand gala. Okay, I wonder if I can just leave and come back and that will be enough that I can trigger the next give them money phase. Hopefully it's not 50,000. I'm hoping it's either 5 or 10. Everyone's spirits are starting to brighten, brighten but we need more money. 2,000, that's fine. We could not survive without these donations. 3,000 it is. Get out the way. Yes. I am a kind person. Okay. I have a feeling that wasn't the end, though, huh? Let me try selling some old stuff. I'm pretty sure all of Rudy and Jack's old weapons are pointless to hold on to. Because only the staves seem to do anything with Mystic. And that's the only reason to really hold on to anything at the moment. Okay. And now we have a decent amount of money again. Gela. Now we have a decent amount of Gela once again. What are you doing here? The blue tower seals the spirit of the good. The red tower seals the spirit of the evil. What does that mean? Oh, that's something I already took care of, old man. There's a place called the Volcanon Trap on an island in the inner sea. There you'll find a machine that amplifies the power of darkness. Good thing Calamity Jane took care of that, eh? Yeah, you've been here before. Strange triangular tower at the far east. Oh, and that's... Wow, if I had actually talk to everyone in town, I would have found all these things. So I guess I gotta continue talking to everyone to see if there's anything else I missed that they will talk about. 
There's a strange triangular tower at the far east end of the inner sea. Thanks. We need the money and people to reconstruct the Adelheid. Oh, are you? There's a protected ruin called the Giant's Cradle near the shores of the inner sea. This ruin supposedly has a giant sleeping within it. Yep. Oh, wait, are you not sleeping? No, she's just stuck in bed. She's... By all definitions, stuck in bed. Oh, she got out of bed. I'm so proud. In the legend, a piece of the missing heart of the giant is in the tri-pillar at the east end of the inner sea. That's right. And I already got it. We need to provide housing for the homeless. Would you please donate 10000 Sure thing. Thank you. Now we can have people return to their homes. Whoop. Council members, please want 15000 Oh, it looks like I... Okay, I either finished it or I hit the limit of what I can do up to this point in the story. I'm not sure. Either one sounds really good, though. Alright, enough farting around. Right after we save, we're going to go talk to Professor Emma and see what she's got to say. You found another golem in the back of the ruin. Please take me there. You won't be sorry. I have experience from the tomb of Lilithia, remember? Lucky for you, and lucky for me. Why do you feel like I'm the only one talking here? I guess I have the traits of a person born to be in charge. Okay. Filgaia Defense Force. Let's go take a look at this golem. Okay. Alright, back into the giant's cradle, and I bet... Oh, I didn't even save when I left. But I saved right before talking to her. Oh, I thought I was going to have to bear... Uh, I, I thought I was going to have to go all the way through, but it just teleported me. Very nice. I never thought I would see this while still in my 30s. Hey, you guys, this is great. You must have good karma like me. I'm going to check it out. Hey, Mousy, give me a hand. You look like a candidate. What? What does that mean? <laughs> I mean... Being a wind mouse able to fly up to different parts of the golem, that makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> Here's what I've learned so far. I call this guy the Earth Golem. I found some ancient writing on him pertaining to the Fort of the Gods. I've written on the shield mech it's written on the shield mechanism located located on both sides of the arms. Since the ruin is in such good condition, the golem is in perfect working order. Thing just stopped working. Right now it's alive. Wait, the thing just stopped working right now. It's alive. Unlike Lilithia, this golem is just sleeping. I've tried to wake it, but it needs more than a little shove. Don't worry, when it comes to these matters, there's nothing I can't do. Let's go, Mousy, try again. Now I remember. The innocent one walks forward. Why won't you wake up? Get up? Why? After a thousand years, nothing has changed. People just want to use me as a weapon. I was born in a house that was a little different from ordinary people. As I grew up, I was look at, looked after every inch of the way. What was really important for the people was the symbol I represented. Everyone thinks that because I am royalty, I am expected to act as one. The people only like me because I'm the princess. Sorry, I didn't mean to tell you all my problems. I thought you might understand. You didn't want to be born as a weapon either. You can understand me? No, everyone wants to use you as a weapon. No one must know that you are awake. Please remain asleep until this is over. If you can hear past my voices, if you can hear the cry of the people under fire, you must wake of your own free will.
And he's awake. How? I tried everything and nada. You? What did you do? Nothing. I was just... I was just talking to it. It decided on its own to get up. Who the hell cares? Now we have the power. We have the ancient antidote to the demons. No, it's not our weapon. It's joining us as a member of the group. Hey, guys. See? The Earth Golem is in an agreement. The voice pattern of the princess is now registered in the Golem's memory. Please lend me your big hand for the future. A future where you're no longer needed as a weapon. And off he goes. Rising up out of the tower. Or the cradle. <laughs> oh. Of course. I just connected Giant's Cradle and being asleep like a baby in a cradle. For some reason I was thinking cradle as in like, you know, like a hammock type thing. But a baby's cradle, that makes so much sense. <laughs> He's at the top. He's at the top. Look at those big feet. Step stomping out. Okay, so this place definitely was not optional because this guy is how we get through the shallows. To ride the golem, walk to the golem and push the accept button. You can dismount the golem by pressing the cancel button. It's large enough to walk across shallow water, but too large to go through a forest. The shields on both sides keep enemies away while traveling. It's a little low on output. Too bad we can't expect more from it. Sure would like to upgrade its shields. It's a defensive golem. It's not made for battle, but it can cover a lot of ground. I have to get back to Adelheid to study the data from this discovery. I have a few things to try out that could lead to a new Emma motor. Well, thanks for taking my boat. Oh, okay. So now we have the option, eh? And it looks like that is where it's obviously telling us to go. Seeing if Emma has anything to say. See if uh, Engineer Tom has anything to say. See if any repairs have gone underway. Looking pretty much the same. Still just cobblestones. My mentor was a traveling armsmeister. He was more like a dream, dream chaser than an armsmeister. He had a lab to the far east somewhere. Okay, so now we are definitely going to be looking for an arms lab to the far east. That's something to keep in mind for sure. So... Let's pump that up again. Oh, there we go. Is that max? Oh, no it's not. Okay, and off we go. So, the Far East. I wonder if she means the Far East on this continent, or the Far East of Philgaia. Okay, the Far East of this continent would be the Far East of Philgaia. So... Oh, oh, it's probably someplace I can get to with the Golem. That would make perfect sense. <laughs> Oh yeah, I can't get down there yet. Hello. Alright, and there's no battles while we're in here, but there's also no dashing. That's the whole continent, so let me first check down here, maybe. Alright, there's this. Oh, look at this. All of the different things that you can pick up, but I think I actually have... All of them. That's pretty cool. I feel like I've done pretty well picking stuff up along the game, I guess. Let's see, is this... Oh, I was going to say, is this just for battles, or is there something here? Oh. But they're larvae. This is weird. I don't understand why the enemies would be this weak if it's a place that I can only get to at this point in the story. Maybe it's still technically part of the other area, so it has their monsters. It's weird. Yeah, I guess not. I thought there would kind of be like, you know, something... Something here. But no, guess not. 
So yeah, I already have all the status protection stuff, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, so it said something about a snow monster. Which probably is just an optional fight that's really tough. So I suppose I'm going to try to do that. Alright. That definitely wasn't the snow monster. Snow monster, a eh? Snow monster. Maybe I should check the forest? Maybe I should check this little nubbin? Is this nubbin something? I don't think so. I think it's just a nubbin. Ability to parry decreased. That is the first time I've ever seen that happen in this entire game. <laughs> or I guess in this entire playthrough. Can't parry, but can still counterattack, apparently. <laughs> National Treasure Photosphere Excavation Site. Off limits. Kingdom of Arctica. Okay. Let's go back to our golem friend. Alright, so we're going back to the golem, and we'll move it up a little bit, and then we'll pop back out. We might actually not be able to... Yeah, we can. Okay. Pop that out, back out, and let's go for stuff in the forest. See if the snow monster is here. I don't know what the snow monster is. I assume... I mean, it seems fitting for this game, and I... It kind of feels familiar that it's actually just a random encounter that will be basically a boss battle. Uh, the Fun Baba. Okay. Hmm. Let's try... Oh, they're separate. So I could just do my hand cannon, huh? But I don't need to. Let's just attack. Okay, what is forgetful? I don't... Is it this? I really don't know what that does. Let's try Trickster on one of them. I'm gonna do Valkyrie to make sure it hits them both, or has a chance to hit them both. That was a lot of damage against Rudy, who has tons and tons of defense. Has nothing, that's good. Paralysis is not good. If it hits, it hits. Zeros, okay. Oh, and they have counterattacks, and I didn't do that much damage. Okay, so maybe these are the snow beasts, huh? Holy crap. Let's start pulling out some big guns. I just have big guns now that I think about it. Let's try flame, though. They should be weak against this. They're in a snow area, right? Oh, not against her. I couldn't even see. 360 damage. That's not horrible. But that was zero. Oh, boy. And these are hitting like crazy. Okay, okay. Man, maybe I should have analyzed it, huh? Could try running, but I feel like that's just not gonna work. I could also switch up his equipment real quick <laughs> to make sure I do not get paralyzed. That's something. Oops, not that. So I guess we'll just keep going with hand cannon and try to take these guys out. They're doing oh, a lot of damage. They have really high defense. And Valkyrie did nothing to them. Okay, one down. Rudy's just gonna... Oh, I'm not gonna use arm lock on. I'm gonna try to wait until his force gauge goes all the way up. Because if his force gauge goes all the way up, then that means all of his status things go away. Yeah, I keep trying to paralyze him. Oh. Jack's already paralyzed, you jerk. <laughs> Alright. Rudy, you're getting close. 
I don't know how much health he has left, though. Maybe I should just attack for a couple rounds, because I... Er... No, because no one's going to survive. Er... If he focuses on Cecilia, she won't survive. Okay, condition green. Oh, and it counted. Nice. So Rudy's cleared. Alright, those guys were tough, but they just took bullets. They didn't really take any, um... Extra difficult stuff. Oh, okay, Cecilia's um, paralysis did fade. Just from being in the golem. That's good. Okay, there's nothing we can do here, because it's not shallow waters, it's deep. But there's shallow waters there. But there's also this big forest that just is tempting to explore. I guess nothing. No zooms. I was hoping there would be zoomies. Alright, let's get you out of this little tiny area. I'm forgetting something or just doing it wrong, but I can't find anything that seems like it's particularly a snow monster. And what's this? Is this the town of Rosetta? No, it's Port Siam. Okay. Oh, it doesn't count as a town until I actually go in, huh? Okay. Court Siam. CM? Same? Court Same? This is Court Siam, a village of orphans and people running from the monsters. Oh. Yes. Good. Very good. Reload the ammo. It only costs 80. I should heal up. The charge to stay at this establishment is 30 gela. Would you like to stay on this gorgeous evening? <laughs> Guy's a good salesman. <laughs> Let's save before we start exploring and raiding barrels and crates and crates and barrels. Alright. Ah, we can get rid of that flash. Hello. The light will purify you. Hey, kiddos. Proud of our boss. I want to be like her. We've called her our boss for years. It's unusual to call her sister Jane, can we? Jane is our breadwinner, but we have no idea how she gets the money. Oh, Jane. Calam Calamity Jane. The book entitled The Secrets of Rings. Do you want to read it? Yes. Rings worn on the left hand can enhance... Weapons are magic. Different rings can be used for different purposes. For example, the rest of the passage is smudged by children's scribbling. Hmm. Don't have any rings for my left hand, other than the blue circlet. And that's not necessarily a ring, that's a circle. <laughs> Which is a ring. Jessica is, a beautiful and, is beautiful and very nice. Jane is the toughest when it comes to fighting, but she's also the nicest of all. So apparently Jane is awesome. Big surprise. Oops. And that's a big, big doggy. Oh, I thought my boss came back. My whole body feels weird. It doesn't feel like my body. Well, that's definitely weird, buddy. Hope you feel better soon. Still nothing nearby. There it is. Or there's one. Hey, Mystic Apple, very cool. Something for Cecilia, of course. Hey. The children who grow up in the orphanage always help out the new kids. They don't want to feel the loneliest that they had to experience. It's understandable. Oh, look at this, the rings. Power of earth, water, fire. Oh, okay. I only have 12,000, so I could get three, huh? Oh, boy. Let's check other places first, excuse me. Just had to scan your barrels. Welcome. Alright, yeah, just a regular item shop. That's what I thought. Double checking these barrels. Good. What's up here? Oh, this looks like a... Hmm, I was going to say a mayor's house, but maybe not. Even children must stick together. That's right. I got a power apple. My sister and I grew up in the orphanage. Gotcha. Uh, 
nothing over there. So, so far the only thing really weird about this place is that dog. Next time the boss comes back, we're gonna go on a picnic. That's cool. Oh, magic shop. It's the magic guild. Simple magic. Why simple magic? I did change my mind because I want advanced magic. Is it just one single guild that has the advanced magic? I really thought like it had like the advanced magic would be available to every place once I got to a certain part in the story. Yeah. When I'm watching this children, I see a glimpse of hope in the wasteland. Wow, did you see the babe that came out of that huge mansion? What a set of legs. Alright, alright. This place gives me the creeps. Why? Please make yourself at home. The children like songs about heroic knights slaying monsters. I don't see what's that. I mean, like I said, other than the dog, there's nothing really weird. Mr. Maxwell came to this town and spent his fortune on the children. Well, that's nice. Another crest graph. Hooray! I can't get behind this house, it seems. Hey. Long time ago, Mr. Maxwell began researching ancient technology in the town of Malama. He moved here to house orphans that he took in from the wastelands. It's a lot of work to raise that many orphans. His two daughters act like big sisters to all of the orphans. Okay, so Jane is the daughter of Maxwell, who used to be an arms person and then came here. So that sounds like the person Emma was talking about being her mentor. So Emma's mentor is Jane's father. So it seems. Oh, what? I just checked over there. Did I not? You barrel bitch. Alright, another agile apple. Very nice. Busting down. Ooh, let's not go to the basement. Basements are usually creepy. So let's hold off on the creepy basement. Hmm. Fireplace? Okay. A little bit of an odd decor arrangement, but that's fine. Down to the basement, I suppose. Huh. Well, I guess a basement would make sense for, like, an engineer and researcher. Sweet, hearty apple. I think that was one of each apple now. I'm studying the workings of the arms under Nikolai. I feel like a disciple now. If you want your arm modified, please allow me. Let's see. Now, you can't upgrade my hand cannon, cannon, then what good are you? Excuse me. Hey, look at that. Resident, I am Nikolai Maxwell. I'm the armsmeister in this tiny village. Long ago, I was one of the six who studied at the old man's lab. So that must be the mentor. The Zepit Rough Knight Labo Laboratory led in the study of ancient technology. And you? What? Rudy Rough Knight? You're the old man's grandchild? Sorry, we used to call Meister Zepit the old man. So Rudy's last name, we've just now learned, is Rough Knight. How is he? It's been close to 15 years. But as we know, Rudy's an orphan. Rudy starts to talk about his dream chaser days before he met Jack and Cecilia. Now we get a nice trip down memory lane with Rudy, which is great, because I love Rudy. Zepit Rough Knight. He thought of Zepit as his father. He was once... He was an old dream chaser who had raised Rudy since infancy. <laughs> Always love a good campfire scene. During their travels, Zepit taught Rudy the life of a dream chaser. But most importantly, he gave Rudy a heart. A heart to protect the ones he loved. But of course he was old. One day, the inevitable happened. The old man's traveling days came to an end. Rudy was now tasting the true meaning of being alone. 
and that's actually kind of part of the intro scene when you first put the disc in. Rudy buried the remains of the old dream chaser on a hill that the old man was fond of. The rest is history. I'm sorry to hear that. He was... It's quite an arm you've got there. Do you know how to use it properly? I guess the arm would not have synchronized with you if you did not know how. My daughter Jane is also capable of synchronizing with an arm, but not nearly as powerful as what you have there. Papa, I'm home. What are you guys doing at my house? Jane, do you know these people? No, no, Papa. I met them just a little while ago. Why are you in such a hurry? I'll be upstairs. Please, make yourself at home. Jane is a good daughter. It's because of her that I can keep the orphanage running. Go to the southeast and then... and cross the shallow water. Southeast, shallow water. There you find Epitaph of the Sea Wind. It is an in uncompleted tower we used in the research of a flight machine. The research meister Zeppet and myself left behind may be uh, junk to some, but you might find a use for some of it. Take this key. It may look funky, but it will get you inside. Many of Zeppet's belongings were from before Rudy was born are still there. And we got a wind-up key. Very nice. A book entitled Controlling a Golem, but we just got one, so let's read it. Golems are voice activated by a pre-registered voice. They can also be controlled by a musical instrument being played at a certain frequency. Well, that would be nice to know. The six disciples of old man Zeppet became armsmeisters and spread out across the land. We were all outcasts in one way or another. I wonder how the others made out. Hmm, okay. I don't need any of that. My hand cannon's already maxed out, so let's move on. Oh, and now, oh, this is McDuffin. McDoolin. Thank you for what, or, thank you for what you have done for my mistress. We will be holding a humble banquet on your behalf. The mistress is waiting for you. I hope you have a good time. All right, guy. So now, all right, the wind-up key is all that's happened so far. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess she's outside. Thought she would have been up there. Okay. Don't mind me. Ah, there you are. Hello. Hey, you didn't tell my pops that I'm called Calamity Jane, did you? I will never forgive you if you give him even the slightest hint. Give me sass. Okay. We don't have any use for simple magic. She's already back. So, oh yeah, those, those were rings, probably give us either elements to our attack or defense against certain elements, but at the moment, I don't think it's worth the money, because I could only buy three of them, and there's like eight or ten, so I should just hold off until I can buy them all, to be honest, <laughs> just so that I have the choice to switch between any of them. Alright, I don't hear any pings on my radar, so good, good sound, sign. And we got our golem. And they said southeast. Oh, and that? Yeah, I was going to say, that looks like there's something in the middle of this forest. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Well, I'm standing in the barrier. Does that count? Let's see. What about this? Oh. Oh, I think I know. Oh, well then, let me see. Once more. Yeah, hand pain can go through it, so it's not the same as in Saint Centaur. Barrier will prevent demons from entering. So not monsters, but demons. Hmm. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. But this place looks like it. it's a good place to be. I mean, it's definitely new. Hey. Hmm. Odd. Oh. I only have a single duplicator left. So let me continue on before I use that up. Really hope. 
but there's another duplicator somewhere around here. I hate having zero of them. Okay. Secret book. But if we're getting stuff that's equipment, then that might be this is the next story area we're supposed to go. So that's good. I mean, you did say southeast, and that's the direction we went. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, maybe this is just a healing area. 2130. Eh, I guess not. Okay, that's why it's oddly positioned. 4,800. Oh boy, I really want to go back to that duplicator door. Maybe I'll be able to get it on the way out, though. I just really would prefer to have a duplicator... in A second duplicator before using that one, but... Oh, well, there's another door. Oh boy. Oh, that's... Yeah, that screams trap. Or at least... Story. So let's... Man. Okay. And this is back to the beginning. So we've got... Two duplicator doors. One that's like on the path, and this one that's off to the side. I guess we're gonna try the first one we came upon. Let's do that, because I don't see any reason to do the other one over this one. Really hope one of these is a freaking duplicator. It's not going to be. Oh well. <laughs> That's the greatest news I've ever seen. Okay. Woohoo! I feel much better. Now. Time to go to this other duplicator door and bust it down. Oh man, that was perfect. Wow. I almost walked out of that room without checking, too. Sealed by magic. More like sealed by nothing. Papa. Oh, and I know what this is. I remember this from Tripillar. Let's first check these. Oh, 320 Gela, that's nothing. Okay. So, everyone's healed up. So, Jack should be good to go. Try taking me on. Let me take this one on. I'll only use one hand. I don't know about that. Ser... Saracenian? Must be either a play on words on a type of plant, or it's just straight up a type of plant. Saracenium. Oh, is that gonna like... Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna be like a paralysis thing. That would have sucked. Yeah, poison. That's annoying, but not terrible. Alright. Down to a thousand. It took out about 500. But I'm faster than them, so let's just do a Sonic Buster and see if we can take them all out. Probably not, but... Oh, probably yes. And a potion berry out of it. Probably means we could have tr used Trickster to get some more, but that was too easy. Fast draw hint acquired. Very nice. I thought I would have to fight multiple battles. Cool. Oh, I want. I really wish. Like, why can't I use Heal Blade? Whatever. Um, antidote. Where'd you go? Let's use... No, we don't want to use Cecilia's because we have lots of heal berries. Wait, you're just going to... Alright. Okay, so that was that. Man, that worked out really well. Oh, and if I had gone the other way first, I would have been screwed. Man, okay. <laughs> Talk about lucky ducky. Alright. So that's the only thing we're looking at, eh? Alright. There is a powerful seal that could withstand quite a powerful attack. No? Hmm. I guess I'm just doing something wrong here. That's unfortunate. 
<laughs> I thought it was actually going to do something. So am I just out of options? Man, I don't know what to do with that thing. So maybe I was supposed to do something else in town that I didn't activate. Let's check. No battles in the golem, so... No battles in that place either. I mean, the barrier was up. That makes sense, right? Um, and this is actually one thing that kind of drives me a little crazy. His dialogue chain er, is now stuck on this, but he doesn't give the hint to go southeast once again. It was a one-time bit of dialogue that if you accidentally skipped over, then you would quite easily get lost and be perhaps hopelessly lost or frustrated to the point where you just put the game down. Here we go. That's the tower thing I've been looking for. What's this say? Epitaph of the Sea Wind. Here lies obscure memories of a master and his disciples. Alright, so first let's just, yeah, make sure there's nothing around here. And yeah, like I said, they're fine. So let's check it out. Hmm. Well, there's a machine. Let's not touch it just yet. Hmm. There's nothing over there, I guess. Ah, look at this. Oh, did not expect a sound effect like that. Okay, so we can't go that way. But we can get into battles. Oh, but they're against gel dams. Those damn gel dams. Pretty easy. Kind of mechanical device, it seems trashed. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Well, right? This goes back in time? Yeah, I didn't think that would actually work. <laughs> Do I need to go back there and ask Jane to help? I guess that would kind of make sense, right? Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Wow. I always forget that this game, it, it doesn't like say, you know, bring up your inventory when you touch something that uh, uh, requires you to go into the inventory. You just have to actually do it. Okay, so yes, as I Foolishly forgot, which is typical, I got something in town. I didn't need to go back, I already had it. So, wind up key. And it springs to life, all happy. <laughs> so classic, like PlayStation. Quite an unfortunate event with Rudy being silenced. He won't be able to use any of his magic. He'll be reduced to using just his arms. Nothing there. Oh, that is not what I wanted, Rudy. Okay. Preemptive strike against the jelly blobs. <laughs> All right, jack up a level. And there we go. Oh. Oh, I was going to say, I should have been a little more careful. Yeah, there's definitely something. It's probably not down here, but I didn't get a good look, so I'm checking. Okay. Okay, another chance to get more... Magicarrots. I kind of wish Analyze would uh, show what item they have. But, I mean, you can't really 
blame this game for stuff like that. That's the sort of niceties that we've gotten used to now, but I guess they hadn't really thought of all that. Oh, yeah, they silenced her. God. <laughs> Alright, keep attacking these things that sound like cats. Okay. I do... oh, didn't need to be careful, okay. I do remember very clearly what we get here. Because with these conveyor belts, it's pretty obvious. They kind of spell it out. Huh. These things are hideous. Are they half snake, half bear, half owls? Snake owl bears? Probably. That sounds about right. I really want to get whatever this is. I guess I should start focusing on that. Oh, she's still silenced. Mm -hmm. Let's use Heal Blade just to get the silence off of her. Man, that's annoying. If these things do some sort of silence or paralysis, I'll be frustrated again. <laughs> oh, that thing's down. Okay. Flame tone. Alright, so... I mean, that thing died pretty quickly. I'm gonna have him defend. Use Trickster and have Cecilia attack. Hopefully that's not too much damage to take him down. But if Trickster misses, it'll be enough damage ah, to get a magic carrot. Look at that. Okay. So this is definitely the place to uh, run around using Trickster on as much stuff as possible. Those magic carrots are going to be useful. Oh. Mm, don't tell me this is... Oh! Nope, I'm being foolish. Aha! They clearly... How's it going? Well, clearly bomb the wall. <laughs> okay. This way. No. Arr. Oh, wait. Uh... I'm thinking maybe I can throw a hand pan at it, but those conveyor belts will probably stop it. Milk Lewis. just was saying that this is a good place to keep using Trickster. So let's see what these things are. Because maybe it does, or they are kind of making it, this whole place has good Trickster stuff. Maybe not. And we'll try Valkyrie just to see. Potion Berry. Good. And is it going to do zero or is it going to do a thousand? Let's find out. Good, good, good. Alright, let's try hand pan. I think the conveyors... Oh, nice. I thought they were going to stop him, but they did not. Nothing... Oh, because he doesn't touch the ground. Duh. <laughs> Why would the conveyor belt affect him? What? It said it was a trap, but nothing happened, so... Alright. Okay. Oh, all of these are sending me the correct direction. Oh, but now I have to, oh, I bet that part is timed. I get it. Okay. Tricky, tricky. As long as battle time doesn't count, though, it shouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, do I want to go for... No, I want to I wanna go for this. Another level up for Cecilia. Very nice. Oh, gotta hurry. I was just saying that. This way... This way will be faster. If I was not an idiot. I bet it's closed by now. Nope. Maybe it's not a time thing. Oh, well. Oh, 
continue trying to learn Jack's thing and go for a blast this time since they're not in separate groups. Oh, Slash Rave has been mastered. Very nice. Another Potion Berry. Always good. Okay. Yes, the sh- Oh. No, the door! Are we trapped? Someone has just trapped us in. I'm ready, I'll kick as many butts as I have to to get us out of here. Whoa. Oh, I know. Yes, hello. Oh. Duh. Come, Come with me. me. Okay. Oh. Is this the only path, or is there also... stuff? I don't want there to also be stuff, guy. Shadow. Get back here. I don't see any stuff. Oh boy, he's a little bit quicker. Or no, he's the exact same pace as me. Thank you, doggy. My, My master, master waits. That vibration, it was a guardian. The only guardian who's not lost its powers. The guardian of desire. Lucia, the black wolf. Did she lock us in here? Okay, so that wolf is a guardian, apparently. Good to know. Let's get everyone all healed up. Let's get some magic carrots in our butts or wherever they go. Oh, and let's use up one of each apple, because we have that. All right, 99 response time. 201 for the sorcery. Everyone's over 100 on the vitality already. That's very nice. And the power apple... I feel like I should be balancing them out, but we're not going to do that this time. And a save point. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, so it looks like we're more or less at the end of this area, because we're getting a save point in the middle of a dungeon that's got to be a boss. So, pretty much healed up. Everyone's only a little low. Oh, okay, so I guess it's not... Strange device seals it up. Oh, I guess it's not an immediate boss fight, but ah. Let's get our wind mouse out. Oh, another apple. And another apple. Let's just use those up real quick. Let's get Jack up to 100 speed or response. I always forget that that's what it is. And let's also actually, yeah, where is. There it is. Just because I really feel like that affects um, luck if they're. Yeah, see, his luck's all the way down to normal. I feel like if they spend a long time with a status ailment that doesn't go away, their luck goes down. Oop. Uh, I can't do anything about this, can I? Oh, sorry about that. Did not mean to bother. Oh, I get it. I saw the button. Button, button. Oh, ho, a storm drake. He's a big boy. I mean, I do have plenty of uh, bullet clips at the moment. What's Slash Rave? Multiple slashes against one enemy. I really want to try Trickster first, but he'll probably survive one round, right? Maybe? Let's try. Let's get him an Analyze. See if he's as... God, horrifying as he looks. He looks like a wannabe Godzilla, honestly. But the purple and green is a nice color combo. Weak against water don't have that except for with a... Oh, this might just... Okay, it didn't. Alright. So now we'll just defend. Go for Trickster again. Purple Electric Revised. Ooh. That sucked. We're gonna try the same thing. I really want to know what this guy has if he's being this difficult to steal from. It's gotta be something, right? Okay. Next time we fight one of those, Jack is the only one attacking. Well, Jack and Hand Pan, I should say. Hand Pan, my buddy. Thank you. What's up here? Oh, books. 
There's a book called The Wind Sea. Do you want to read it? The Wind Sea, a great magic of the ancient days, has called the ever-stretching sky above our heads. The legendary metal bird once traveled the Wind Sea with elegance. Those were the days when people held the reins to the skies. Can we be masters of the sky once more? So the Wind Sea is just the sky, the air. I got it. There's a book called History of Arctica. The Industrial Society of Arctica, a country bound in ice and snow, yet it holds its life true. The technologies found among many ruins around Arctica have made this place a paradise in ice. This is still, there is still much to discover in the ruins of Arctica. Oh, and look at that right above the book. See, this, this bookshelf is clearly not the same size, and right above it you see a little thing. There's a book titled Erotica. I will not read it. I'll leave the erotica on the shelf for now. Oh, and look at that. Metal Bird Acquired. This book contains theories and applications for the flying machine known as the Metal Bird. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Hand Pan. And thank you for that. Oh, wait, does that mean... What did that do? What did that... Maybe that switched the direction of one of the conveyor belts? Ah, hello again. Let's try Accelerator. I don't know why that would help, but maybe having a faster response time will do something? I really... Eh, I don't see why that would help. And since we're... Since we're gonna have to use Potion Berries outside of battle, it'll be smarter to use one on everyone. Okay. We'll try again next time. Jeez. Oops. Was it over here? No. Okay, so was it? It was not the conveyor belt. Okay, was that not open? I don't think that left one was open. Let me just get a quick save. Deno Nova or something like that? There was a random battle one time that was just brutal, like bo mid boss level. Password? To ones who seek the ocean wind, you shall receive the gift of flight. Well, let's try. Oops. This is 100% a guess. But, oops. But for some reason, this feels right, typing in Windbird, because that is what we're doing, right? Begone Disbelievers, this is the model of the Heaven Seekers. Okay, maybe I should actually use the item that I just got. Middlebird. Oh, that's what it's called, not Windbird. I'm an idiot. Ooh, where'd it go? There it is. Password is my name. Okay, so the person... Oh no, it's just Metal Bird. Alright, well I just saved, so I really feel like that's going to progress the story somehow, so let me go read the erotica and see what happens. All three of these things have magic carrots. I don't know if I'll be able to get one from each of them, though. Hmm. Got one there. Oh! I was really confused for a moment because... Jack was confused, and he was the front party member. As I was hitting left, he was going down. So, um... Oops. So yeah, if your lead party member is confused, your controls um, don't work correct. <laughs> is there a space? I think there's a space. Metal... Ah, that's what it is. So I can still read the erotica, presumably. Let's try. Oh, and I guess now would be the time to save, because now we've actually done stuff. Alright. Smart, 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 smart. So now we're definitely... We gotta be nearing a boss fight. That's all good. We're gonna try... We still don't know what that stupid that stupid Storm Drake has as a trickster item. Let's read the erotica. Not yet! Okay, so... Wait, but Jack is old enough. He's clearly like an actual old adventurer. 
Cecilia is the only one that's actually too young. Because it was her 17th birthday at the beginning of this game. And as far as we know, it's only been like a few months since then. Oh, do I... I need a duplicator. Why'd I use mine? That's fine. I couldn't get out of there with both um, that fast draw hint and the duplicator. So, it was worth it. I really wanted Slash Rave, apparently. I mean, it's gotta be good, right? <laughs> Trickster. Mm, sealed by magic. Okay. Double check, make sure I have no duplicator. No duplicator to have. Damn. Can't. Whatever. There's a ladder over there that I can't reach. Oh, and here is something that I knew I'd be getting. I got some skates. When Rudy uses the roller skates to travel, Rudy can maneuver through different terrains without being affected by damage zones on the ground. So that has to do with, I believe, spikes and um, poison stuff, all that sort. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you only go in one straight line and you can't stop it no matter what. God, I really wish there was a way in there. I assume, by the way it's set up with three treasure chests that I can see, I assume it is a bullet clip, a secret sign, and a crest graph. If there's a fourth treasure chest, it might just be apples. But it could just be anything. I really can't remember. I'm just gonna use the skates a lot, I think, because they're fun. Okay, the first place we saw was over here, or the closest place. Full revive. Another hint that we'll be going to a boss. Oh, on that subject, we got a tool for Rudy, so let's heal up again. Off we go. How did we get in a battle on a ladder? <laughs> Another level up for Rudy. Very nice. Alright, so continue up the stairs that have monsters on them. And let's go over here for this treasure chest. Ooh, the reflex. That is, I assume... Not that. This. Yeah. New shield for Ro Rudy. A protector for the left hand for Rudy. Okay, more dungeon, eh? Hmm. Oh. I bet I know what to do. Let's see. I have a feeling. Yep. Uh, I also have a feeling I don't want to do that just yet. Let me hang on. Let me go through here. I know I need to do that, but I'm not sure if I need to do it right away. I think I do. I'm doing it. I think, actually, it is that I have to do it now. And if I go and fight the boss instead, then I can't do this? Boy, I hope that's right. It might be the other way around. If I do this, then I can't go fight the boss, and it's kind of like an optional boss thing. Boy, well, here we go. Choices are being made. I didn't do anything? Oh. Okay. I thought that was going to do something. Alright, whatever. It seems trashed, is what I say, yet it's clearly on and active, but that's alright. Okay, here we go. Now it's doing something. Wow, I didn't think it would blow up. The explosion occurred because of a buildup of internal pressure. What? In English, please, in English. The energy level got too high in too close of a space. Do you know what happens when energy overloads? You got it, it blows up. I'm gonna apply that knowledge to a new fast draw technique. Fast draw hint acquired. Okay, so phew. I honestly thought that was gonna, um, like, collapse that central thing and push it all the way down and change something on the other floors. Okay, that's a much, much better situation. 
new fast draw techniques are always good. Although I probably won't be able to actually try it out for a while. Because I'm going right into a boss and I don't know if I'm going to want to try it out there. Oop, wrong button. Or wrong tool, rather. This one. <laughs> There's treasure chest up there, apparently. Okay, let us just do that so that we don't have to worry about it. Oh. Human warriors, what do you wish to carve in this epitaph? This is the resting place for the dreams of the sea, wind seekers. A new demon, but this one seems a little different. I see that you have followed Lucian's directions well. Lucian, the guardian of desire. Why? Why are you siding with the demons? My name is Boomerang. Here's a little something I've cooked up for your party. Now we fight Boomerang, who I remember being awesome, and also reminding me 100% of uh, Shadow. Or, yeah, I think Shadow was his name, and Fang was the name of his wolf? I believe. Because, yeah, it's... If I'm not crazy, it's obviously a homage, a allusion, a similarity to a uh, character from... God, I'm gonna sound like an idiot. I think it's... I think it's Six. I think Six has Shadow in it. But anyway, I gotta fight them both now. Let's go one at a time. Start with Lucid. Hint from Broken Machine. Cost 10. Maybe now is not the time. Let's try. Let's let's try it. See just how it is. Why not? And as usual, we're gonna try Valkyrie to see if it does zero or a thousand. Boomerang dynamic. Holy shit. Okay, so that did not teach him the technique, and that did negligible damage to the wolf of them. That did okay damage to that. Okay. So we will keep up hand cannon on Lucid. Go for maybe Slash Rave on the same. And then heal herself. But she's slower. Okay, that's fine. I thought that was going to be on Cecilia for sure. Man, they're all... All these attacks are ridiculous. Oh boy, that was a lot of attacks. Ooh, that was a lot of attacks. Very nice. Okay, so Slash Rave is definitely where it's at at the moment. As far as what I can do for damage. Oh, speaking of which, even if it's just an extra 1%, I'm going to try that. <laughs> slash Rave again. And this time with a Mystic. I think a Potion Berry might be in order. Anyone that gets hit is going to be less than a thousand, so let's try to keep it up. Okay. Oh, that didn't do as much. So it must be... It must be a number of attacks. You know, like, um... Fury Swipe or something in Pokemon, where it does a uh, anywhere from like two to five. So that first time, I must have gotten lucky and done all five, because that was a ton of damage. Oh, one down. All right. Gonna go with that lock on. Let's try Rocket Launcher this time. It technically has a higher, um, higher damage, so that'd be good. I kind of want to try Sonic Vision, huh? Let's try this again. It's a bad idea, but whatever. What does this do? This just does it on everyone, right? Yeah, which is kind of pointless. I guess not really. It's good to do it on two instead of one. Let's keep it up with the Potion Berries. We're not as much in danger now that we got one down. But this might even take him out. Oh no, phew. Okay, so Potion Berry was definitely a good call, I guess. 
Oh, and I keep forgetting about shield and all that sort of stuff that I can do with Mystic as well. Because right now, healing is kind of more important. And I don't think you can do that with items, other than consumables. Okay, hand cannon. Oh, and now he has sonic vision, focus strength, and attack. So I guess it's literally just a regular attack with increased strength. Okay. Let's try... I know Analyze isn't going to work. Valkyrie did very minimal damage. So let's go with the original, the classic, the first move she had. Critical hit. Oh, I think that's what it does. It guarantees a critical hit. Which is nice if critical hit does more damage than your abilities, but it does not. Okay, and Jack is a little bit hurting. I didn't even notice if this did more or not. Did it? Probably. So Jack's going to use Accelerator to make sure he goes first and use Potion Berry on himself to keep him alive. And then we'll use Mystic. That's just, yeah, that's not going to do anything. Don't need that. Should've. Okay, we're just going to use, again, the original. We'll use it on Jack, because it seems like he's focusing a lot on Jack, which I think makes sense. better. Let's just do that, I suppose. And he's good for now, so back to Slash Rave, because that's really turning out a lot better than I was expecting. Let's see, is there anything else new? Maybe this? What did this do? I think this did increase parry rate? That could be useful. Yeah, let's let's go for it. I think that's what it did. Hope that's what it did, I guess. 344, not bad, not bad. Come on. Still going. But this pa uh this battle's definitely oh, anger. Right, all abilities raise 10%. All right. I honestly thought Anger was a lot more like Berserk, where it it is exactly like Berserk. <laughs> okay, this is going to really suck. Oh boy, I don't know how long this is going to last. It'll probably last until the battle's over, which, god... Damn me for being foolish. How did I not realize? He's gone, right? Nope. He's still around. He had shield on. That's right. So that's at least good. Oh, boy. This is rough. Condition green? Did that... Please tell me that canceled it out. Nope. Oh, my God. I'm so lucky. <laughs> okay. Whew. Right. <laughs> ah, okay. Pathetic Fools going up against the Demon Race. 2800. No Gela, though. Hmm. The cycle of desire never ends. Lucy, it lives. If you wish to defeat me, you must attain the miracle you seek. If you can win that for yourself, I shall appear again. He was just testing us. Rune Drive. That sounds good. Nothing else up here. Good. If there was anything else up on this roof, that would have been kind of a cruel cool trick. Alright, well, I activated the... I have the metal bird and whatnot, right? Yeah. Range this stuff. Rune Drive. An ancient energy amplifier. 
guessing that's just for the golem. Yeah, because that's already broken. There's nothing there. Alright, so let's have Cecilia do her thing. Get us out of here. If there's anything I missed, that's... whatever. <laughs> Alright, looks like, yeah, there's nothing we can do yet. Oh. Maybe there. Maybe down there. I'm not sure, to be honest. But uh, I am sure that I need to stop here to reload the ammo and stop here to reload the HP and MP and then talk to my little bird friend. Oh, that's right, I have the skates now. All right, gonna get a save. And then with everything saved, I think that's going to be it for now. We will see what we can do with the golem down to the southeast. So thank you for watching. Um, if you want to catch me live, just check me out on Twitch. Have a good one, everybody.